Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I am reviewing an ink from Dea Trementis, a brand that I really enjoy and haven't reviewed enough of. Uh, and an ink that I wanted to show today was this one. This is Sherlock Holmes. So Dea Trementis Sherlock Holmes, as you can see, is a beautiful uh, dark blue. It's one of the first uh, Dea Trementis inks I got. Uh, this was actually recommended to me by one of the staff at Goulet Pens back in the day. Um, and uh, this and Oxford Blue, and they both are beautiful and You'll actually see Oxford Blue in a bit. Um, so, as you can see, a wet ink, it's smeared on my card. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at it on some paper. So we start with it here, as per usual, on uh, 68 GSM, old stock, the good old stuff, Tom or River paper. Had it in two pens, two go extra fine, and the two go broad. Let's start with these five points. Well, firstly, I just want to say, lovely blue there, nice hit of red sheen, it looks great. Five points. Uh, Detrimentous inks are handmade in Germany. Uh, all kind of like in-house for the brand, handcrafted, really, really nicely done. Um, this particular ink is also called Night Blue. So what they've done, well, Detrimentous do, is they've got inks like Alexander Hamilton and, uh, you know, uh, Sherlock Holmes and a few other you know, Giuseppe Verdi and things like that. And they are basically rebranded inks from Detrimentus that originally have other names. So this one is Night Blue. So for example, if you buy Alexander Hamilton, you're getting the same ink as Aubergine. Uh, so just something to be aware of. They have over 300 colors in the range. Now, I'm not sure if that is colors or inks, because as I said, some are renamed other names. Um, this is one of their standard inks. So Detrimentus also have a range of pigmented inks and archive inks, document inks, and things like that. Actually, their document inks are really, really good quality. I like those a lot. This is one of their standard ones. And as I said, this is a long-term personal favorite, so I'm really enjoying the fact that I get to share it with you. Let's talk about the performance now. So it's a fairly wet ink, as you can see from my coloring card. Uh, it's got excellent flow and good saturation. I like it for that. It's got a slow, mid to slow dry time. So after 20 seconds, it was still kind of wet. Um, I said it's got a fair performance. It's not permanent, as you can see from the water test here. It sort of moves around a little bit, you know, but it's okay. But it is an easy cleaning ink. Uh, Detrimentous inks do clean very, very well and they don't stain. So it is very safe in fountain pens. Extras, it's got nice sheen. You can see that on the coloring card. It's sort of like this like general sort of I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but like the red sort of shines over the entire ink, uh, but also in, sometimes in the writing you get a nice little hit of sheen. Like, you can, I don't know if you guys see it there, but on the E of extras there's a nice pop of red. It's got good shade, mid to low water resistance, and there is no shimmer. Looking at the reverse of this page, you see nothing comes through. It's actually got very little show through it. I don't know how, like it's a, for a relatively sort of dark, concentrated ink, it comes up nicely on this paper. Tom and River, very ink friendly, of course, but uh, this one performing very, very well. Moving to the lower end paper, Detrimentous Sherlock Holmes here on uh, very light paper, student lecture pad paper. And this be go and broad and extra fine. It looks okay. Like it actually doesn't feather too much at all. It's kind of holding together quite nicely. And if we look at the reverse, in comparison to some of these other inks, you know, which are a couple of different brands, Private Reserve and Dye Mine and things like that, it performs really, really well. And really, like that's quite nice. Like, it, it's coming through, but in comparison to some others, I think it's doing a fairly decent job. We see a similar thing here on the office copy paper, ADGSM uh, uh, reflex copy paper. A little, little bit of feathering, but not too much. The colour is a little more dull. It's way more sort of washed out, which is normal on this paper, but I think that this looks much greyer uh, than, much, much greyer than uh, on other paper. Uh, and the reverse, once again, I think it holds up fairly well in comparison to the other brands. Um, it is coming through, obviously, but I think there are worse. And then lastly, we have it on 80 GSM Rhodia paper. You can see where I put the water down. I just let that dry. Um, we get a little bit held behind. Like, you can make it out what was there, but there's a big wash of ink there. <clears throat> I think the swatch looks really nice on this paper, and the colour looks good. It's a, It certainly is... Uh, that night blue has a hint of sort of the grey to it, uh, and I think it actually looks very, very nice. And uh, then if we look at the reverse, nothing has come through as you would expect. If we look at the chromatography, a lot of those colour families we see in there are very visible. Sort of greys and lighter blues and dark blues. It's nice. It's an interesting, you know, um, mix of colours there that we uh, get in this ink. Let's do a little colour comparison now. And I pulled up a few inks. Um, 
So I've pulled up a couple of dye mine because it's, it's the first thing I wanted to show alongside uh, dye mine Oxford Blue, which is um, the two rings that I was recommended at the same time. Oxford Blue is a lot darker. It's also a bit more vibrant in the same way. So we see a lot more blue, whereas this is that sort of undertone of grey. Um, and I've pulled up 1864 Blue Black because a lot of people, when they talk about Sherlock Holmes, kind of refer to it in a Blue Black f family. I think it's way too blue for a Blue Black, but it is certainly dark enough that if you were wanting a dark blue as opposed to like a traditional Blue Black that has like these black core undertones uh, to it, it would kind of work. It's much closer than say Oxford Blue in that respect. And just to put all this into context, here is Waterman Serenity Blue. So you just see that how dark it is uh, and the hit of gray uh, that we get through this ink, which gives it that lovely nighttime quality. Okay, so what does this ink cost? Well, the 35 mil bottle, yes. Okay, here is the thing. <laughs> this is the bottle, it comes in a nice box. It's simple, it's got a nice little image of Sherlock Holmes there. It says con content 35 mils. Um, and this is the bottle, good glass bottle, nice cap, all of those kinds of things. Exclusive handmade ink for fountain pens, colour, night blue, contents 35ml, Sherlock Holmes, all the information is there. But I think this is a 45ml bottle. Other retailers are now saying it's 45. I haven't done a test to see how much ink is in there. So this is the bottle you get. In Australian dollars, it's 24.95, And in the US, you can get it for 14 US dollars. So both fairly reasonable. Uh, and for a good quality ink, I think it's not an exorbitant price. The score I've given this is four out of five. I enjoy this ink. It's got a superb color, nice depth, and a good performance. There are some, you know, it's not super, super waterproof and all of that kind of stuff. It's slow, you know, and the dry time is okay, but the color itself, the way it performs, I really enjoy this ink. And uh, it's right bang smack in my, uh, in my favorite little, one of my favorite color families to use. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video about Detrimentous Sherlock Holmes to be interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce and please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at or if there is a way you would like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your inks, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.